Savitri was the daughter of King Ashwapati of Madhra Kingdom. She was a beautiful and intelligent woman who had a strong desire to marry a virtuous and brave man. After much searching, she chose Satyavan, the son of a blind sage named Dumatsena, as her husband. However, Savitri's father warned her that Satyavan was fated to die within a year of their marriage. Undeterred by the prophecy, Savitri married Satyavan and moved to the forest with him and his parents. One day, while Satyavan was cutting wood in the forest, he suddenly fell unconscious. Savitri, who was with him at the time, sensed that something was wrong and ran to him. She found that the god of death, Ema, had come to take Satyavan's soul with him. Savitri pleaded with Ema not to take her husband's soul and begged him to return it to him. Ema refused to do so, but Savitri was not willing to give up. She followed Ema as he carried Satyavan's soul away and tried to convince him to change his mind. Impressed by her selflessness, Yam offered to grant Savitri any boon, except for Satyavan's life. Savitri asked for children from her beloved husband, which caught Ema of guard. In recognition of her bravery and sacrifice, Ema granted her request and restored Satyavan's life. The couple then returned to the forest, where they lived happily for many years. The story of Savitri is often seen as an allegory of the power of love and devotion. It is believed that Savitri's unwavering love and dedication to her husband won over death itself, highlighting the importance of selflessness and the strength of the human spirit. This story is often told during the Hindu festival of Vat Savitri Vrat, which celebrates the devotion of women towards their husbands.